Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Chem Discussion. Today I am going to discuss C asymmetric epoxidation reaction and this topic is very much important for CSIR NET, GET as well as different competitive examination based on chemistry. Before going to the topic C asymmetric epoxidation reaction, we should know another epoxidation technique by using uh, DMDO. What is DMDO? DMDO is dimethyl dioxidant. Its structure looks like this. Now, using DMDO, we can synthesize epoxide under mild condition and without any nucleophilic component. Now, let's see how DMDO can be synthesized. DMDO can be synthesized from potassium peroxo monosulfate. which forms this intermediate and now this oxide will attack here and this will give the DMDO and this potassium peroxo monosulfate is commercially known as oxone. So acetone is treated with oxone to give DMDO. Now I will so an example sorry example where dmdo is used as a epoxide epoxidizing reagent Now, this substrate is treated with DMDO and dichloromethane solvent under 0 degree centigrade temperature. This gives the epoxide product. So, by using a dioxidin compound, we can get a epoxide and using this chemistry, C and his co-workers has developed a beautiful technique to synthesize a asymmetric epoxide. So, now I will be talking about C epoxidation reaction. And the basic features of C epoxidation reaction is it gives trans di plus tri substituted epoxide, and the active catalyst is very much. a uh, fructose derived dioxidin compound that's why i have discussed dmdo earlier and this this catalyst can be synthesized from from this by treating with potassium peroxo monosulfate to get the diketal protected 
डाइऑक्सीरेन डेरिवेटिव ऑफ फ्रुक्टोज सो दिस इज द एक्टिव कैटालिस्ट ऑफ सी इपोक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन नाउ आई विल डिस्कस द कैटालाइटिक साइकिल सपोज दिस इज आवर डाइकिटल प्रोटेक्टेड फ्रुक्टोज डेरिवेटिव एंड फायर द कार्बोनिल ग्रुप इज फ्री नाउ इफ इट इज ट्रीटेड विथ potassium peroxide monosulfate this forms a very important intermediate this is called kriegi intermediate now under the presence of हाइड्रोक्साइड एन आयन दिस प्रोटोन विल बी डिप्रोटोनेटेड विल गिव दिस इंटरमीडिएट नाउ दिस ऑक्साइड विल अटैक टू दिस ऑक्सीजन एंड दिस विल गो आउट टू गिव द डाइऑक्सीरेन कंपाउंड नाउ दिस डाइऑक्सीरेन कंपाउंड कैन इपोक्सीडाइज द ऑलिफिन टू गिव trans epoxide and this is our product and we will get our catalyst back and by this way the c epoxidation occurs now during the c epoxidation reaction we get some by product now we will, i will discuss how it forms and what is that here from the kriegi intermediate let's draw the structure of kriegi intermediate from kriegi intermediate we can get bayer villiger type of bayer villiger type of product this will come here and this r2 will group the r2 group will migrate and this will go out to give so from ketone reagent we can get a ester by product so this by product actually forms during the c epoxidation reaction now i will give some i will give couple of examples the first one is very easy it is treated with and this that fructose derived actually dioxygen compound or you can say fructose derivative with free carbonyl and this will give a trans epoxide now let's take an another example where tri substituted trans derivative or trans this is the tri substituted olefin and under the same condition 
here is the a star is the fructose diketal protected fructose derivative which is c epoxidizing reagent and this will form a tri substituted trans epoxide so that's it for today thank you subscribe my channel thank you